Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on March 21st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything that's affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at old images here of the sun up until the 19th as SGO has gone down overnight. These are the only images that I have right now. Looking here, last 48 hours from the 19th incoming, we did have that large plasma filament that was growing right beside the coronal hole. And now that plasma filament has since released and is now entering the coronal hole windstream, believe it or not, it caught up to it. Large plasma filament taking off there. Still inactive sunspot, no flares there was that CME looking here at that coronal hole and the plasma filament just beside it that was getting ready to rip away or fall into back into the sun so these are the last few images of SDO as solar dynamics observatory is down right now their site undergoing some technical difficulties I'm sure Looking here at another light, you can see that sunspot region coming in and another one cresting and that's the one that shot out a CME or flare. Now these are the last known images here just before the major eruption and you can see that plasma filament started to invade the large coronal hole to the right but then there's another coronal hole building behind it these are the last few images from solar dynamics observatory looking here at our solar winds overnight as they were packing us whipping us at over 600 kilometers per second and as predicted they were pretty excitable you can see all those quick lines those are many many impacts over 600 kilometers per second. Amazing stuff. Looking here at a KP index, as it did get up to six yesterday on the 20th, and it is up to five right now. Looking here at real time solar wind, still 600, over 600 kilometers per second, but we had a spike to 680 kilometers per second. That's our fastest solar wind speed this year, um, I think. I'm pretty sure we've only gotten up to 590 something. So indeed, our planet was whacked and whipped with very fast cosmic energy. Looking here at the Enlil spiral prediction for the next three days. And you can see that CME is going to give Earth a glancing lower blow. It may go, I'm pretty sure it's going to go underneath Earth. And Earth, just so you know, is that little green dot to the right of the sun. And you can see that little bit of energy just grazing our planet at the same time as our coronal hole wind speeds. So it should be interesting tomorrow and into Tuesday. Looking here, Schumann resonance, high quality power of 24, or sorry, 23. No, I was right quality of 24 amplitude of 23 that's our highest frequency in quite a, well, in about a week about a week's time looking here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes we're going to start out here in california most recent 
seeing some increased seismicity throughout California today. Down into Tom's Place. And as well, Morgan Hill, California, 2.7. And Lama Linda. As well, a 2.6 here in Utah. 2.7 here in Western Texas. 2.8 Oklahoma. Down here, Guatemala, 5.0. Puerto Rico are rocking today with a 3.0 as well, a 3.4, 127 kilometer depth. Seismicity coming back to the region. 4.9 reported there in Colombia. South America is a rocking today. 5.2, very deep, 592 kilometer depth in Bolivia. As well, another 5.0 reported Bolivia just southwest. And as well, Chile with a 4.6. And a 4.1, a quick Chile. Atlantic Plate seeing some action as well. 4.8 Ascension north of Ascension Islands, but right on the line. 4.7 there in Greece, 24 kilometer depth as well. 4.3 just northeast Greece. African Plate reporting a 4.0. Uganda. That's north of the two very active African volcanoes. 4.6 here reported, Carlsberg Ridge, 12 kilometer depth. As well, Philippines and Indonesia seeing some earthquakes today, deep, 240 kilometer depth. As well, 4.6 there, right around still the Tal volcano. 5.2 reported here, Northern Mariana Islands. As well, Japan seeing some minor earthquakes today. Aftershocks, I'm sure, from the large 7.2 the other day. And as well, aftershocks throughout the Starry region, as they saw a pretty sizable earthquake this week as well. 4.9, Kermadec Islands. So things have quieted down there. Seems to have shifted north to Iceland. Minor earthquakes there, Hawaii still. Looking here, the last seven days, a lot of elevated white rings. So that is a lot of deep, recent earthquakes. And as well, we've seen some sizable earthquakes the last seven days. Japan, and as well, Russia. All of the earthquakes in Iceland. quiet regions through Central America and North America and beyond watch through the Atlantic plate as our North and South Pole is being stressed during this shift. Much love and prayers to everybody worldwide. Thank you for tuning in. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center most recent volcanoes to update. Kerinci in Indonesia, as well Ibu in Indonesia, very active throughout that region, Semeru, Sinabung, Suez and Ajima in Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Pacaya, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Dekono, Indonesia, As well, Ebuko in Russia, Era in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Christopher in Iceland, of course, Etna in Italy, San Cristobal in Nicaragua, and Popo in Mexico. Now, Popo is used to very, very frequent and numerous earthquakes, or sorry, vol volcanic eruptions, and they've been quiet recently. So, looking here over Australia, that large system is affecting them. Flood warnings already going out towards Queensland and New South Wales. And as well, flood watches through Western Australia. Big system coming through and pretty intense weather will be coming. Hopefully you saw those little fires there in the southeast corner. Maybe some relief will come.
North America also seeing some flooding conditions all across the southeastern and central still. And you've got some pretty extreme weather heading your way as well. We're going to have a quick look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike. And again, thanks again for watching and all of the shares recent while we are growing quickly. Keep sharing and caring. Let's start out here. Home base, Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, we've seen some pretty nice weather, but still some cool nights. And that low pressure system will be heading through the BC interior and then through Alberta. Low pressure system is going to bring some cool temperatures and possibly some snow to Calgary, maybe a dusting but still warm temperatures are going to be hanging around in and out like a roller coaster. Big system later in the week heading to the BC interior again. So they've got two low pressure systems heading through the interior and into Alberta this week. High pressure ridge staying north as there is another low pressure system coming from the Gulf big system here this is the one I was talking about for the states Tuesday into Wednesday you could see some pretty extreme weather as it develops through Texas and moving central towards the Great Lakes the Great Lakes you guys could see some pretty interesting weather as well northern Ontario Ontario seeing snow and southern seeing rain but then look in the five-day forecast, long-range forecast, this system coming out of the Gulf is going to be even more intense than the first one. Backside here, looking at some very strong winds, intertropical convergence. Big battle between the cold and the warm right now. Extreme cold in the north, and of course, our very warming equator. Looking here along the east coast, not too much to talk about for Atlantic provinces, except for Newfoundland later in the week. Could see a bit of rain from that system. Overlooking Europe. Big Mediterranean low here. It's going to keep things wet and thunderous throughout the West Indies. Up into Mongolia later in the week. But you could see some flash flooding conditions through Iraq and Iran this week. High pressure ridge throughout most of Europe, but then later in the week, watch as this big low affects parts of Eastern Europe, bringing snow to the coastal regions. And then as well, this big system coming from Greenland, going to bring down some moisture for the United Kingdom as it centers itself over Iceland. Hopefully that'll cool things down at the Krisavik volcano. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about. No major systems affecting the continent. And as well, Southeast Asia, no major systems to talk about. Area of interest here developing in the Indian Ocean. Could see a cyclone later in the week named. No major systems affecting Malaysia, Indonesia, and then we get to Australia, and still this five-day forecast shows rain here for the next three days, as the system will finally move away, let's see, Wednesday into Thursday, but not before bringing some pretty extreme weather as that low develops there in the southeast region. Wow. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected there. They're already seeing the flooding conditions and extreme weather. Central America, not too much to talk about. South America, heavy rains towards Bolivia. And as well, southern Argentina. You could see the heavy rains there from that system. Other than that, nothing major to talk about. Except for daily evaporation rains. Leave you here looking at the interesting Atlantic currents. Large dominant high pressure ridge. And as well, the Pacific Ocean. Interesting lows developing there as well. Thanks everybody for watching today. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected by natural disasters around the world. Prayers for humanity. 
Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.